Stephen Eskenazi, well batted. Um, that was a, another fine performance from yourself. Pretty decent score, you probably would have thought, but obviously just slightly on the light side then. Yeah, we thought around about par actually for the surface. It was a used surface, maybe the third game. Uh, very tricky in the middle against high quality spin, which both sides have. I'd say both sides strengths lay, you know, in the middle overs there. And we just felt like it was an opportunity for us to try and take advantage of the back end. And yeah, unfortunately, another close one, but didn't get the chance this time. Yeah, it was probably noticeable on that first innings that although happy Middlesex, there weren't the big shots out of the ground perhaps, and that was clearly off the pitch. Yeah, I think also you come into games like that knowing that a side like Gloucestershire like to play that style of cricket. Smudge and Benny, it's what they've done for a long period of time now on surfaces that suit them as well. So, you know, we wanted to try and be smart. We wanted to try and play streetwise cricket and not just go and hit them up. Um, we're a young side that's learning. Uh, but yeah, disappointing we can't go over the line. It's probably the fourth game we can look back on. But on another night goes your way and, you know, you win six, seven games and you're in the hunt. Is that a positive? Because that probably hasn't been the case for Middlesex over the years. If Middlesex have been short, it's been in the T20 more often than not. To come out of the group this year and think actually there are a few games uh, were closer than perhaps they have been in recent years. Yeah, it's, it's no consolation, and I don't think you've got you know a group of players that are hootering and hollering and, and <laughs> over the moon with what's gone on. But again, we're professionals. Um, we've got to make sure that we're getting better. I think there's going to be some really valuable lessons for some young players over the last 14 games. Some, some incredible nights where they're going to look back on and and ask themselves how they can get better and how they can continue to contribute to to the side going forward. Um, we understand that our performance on the whole haven't been good enough for a club of our, our size and our expectations, um, but I don't think there's too much there that you know, doesn't look like we're going to be going forward and, and you know, challenging in the future years. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. There's new management here, new leadership over the winter. Um, does that feel like the shape of the side is close now in terms of putting it together because it feels like there's a lot of holes filled in the right area. Yeah, absolutely. Look, the average age there is in the mid to early 20s, so games like that are invaluable and, and hopefully in a year's time when I'm standing chatting to you, having qualified two games to go, you know, we can look back on performances like that and say that, that we learn a massive amount. Um, first and foremost, I just hope that, you know, boys, and I know they are, they're hurting from results like that. It's one thing learning, but none of us get paid or, or rock up every day to learn. We, we rock up to win. So, you know, I hope there's 13 other blokes that are as devastated as I am at the fact that we couldn't get the results, but also once you get over that, you hold your head high and you figure out how to get better. Mar Max Harris came in, did a great job the last couple of games, but overall Middlesex didn't rest in the last two games. Is that because it is really about next year and making sure that you know, you're not just going to limp out of this group? It was a fantastic match on Friday night. It was a fantastic match to watch again here. And again, there's a lot that you learn in a good game, even if yeah. it is defeat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We have learned a lot about a couple of young players, and I think they've learned a lot about themselves. Um, there should be definitely some blokes on the coach back there that say, you know, I can mix it with some of the big boys. And, and it takes running in and bowling for guys like Glenn Phillips on small but you play, you've played the big guns as well, though. You haven't rested yourself, obviously, Tom or others that will be thinking about the match at Merchant Taylor School. Is that because you feel like this side actually, do you know what, let's keep going? Yeah, let's keep... well, it's a mix of you know, youth and experience. And I think if you play a side that just consists of youth, I think it becomes very difficult. So there is a massive onus on, on players like Helmy and myself and Simo to make sure that in the coming years these youngsters learn and learn quick and, and you know the best way for them to learn is to A put in performances themselves and B watch guys like us continue to keep putting in performances so you know we've got to keep taking responsibility as well as senior players. Next up is the championship Worcestershire. Uh, you'll hand the captaincy back to Tim Murta, but that was a big, big result at Trent Bridge last week and I'm sure that'll fill you the two games against Nottinghamshire coming out of them, fighting back in both. That'll fill you with plenty of confidence for the rest of the, rest of the season. Just 10 points off top spot there, Division 2's all to play for. Yeah, massively. Six huge games in the Championship. Very excited to get back in whites um, and contribute again. You know, the squad's still riding high from a, from a top draw start in that cop. We've got great strength and depth and, and you know, guys like Sam Robson and, and Mark Stoneman are really riding the crest of, of the wave at the moment. So. Yeah, we're, we're over the moon that we can get back out there on, on home turf and we play really well at MTs too. So if we can go in and put a good performance there, it sets us up massively going into those last five games to push for promotion. Well, better today. Thanks for the time.